Hey guys, in this Spage AR Studio tutorial, I want to show you how you can change the eye color in your Instagram filters. And we will also program a logic which enables us to tap on the screen to switch through different colors. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's change our eye color here in the Spark AR Studio. After we changed our eye color, we also will create a logic which enables that we tap on the screen and the eye color changes. So let's go. Um, Spark AR makes it very simple for us to change our eye color because they have already made a block we can use to change our eye color. So there is not that much programming involved. To get to the block, we go to the left hand side to our AR library. We just click on it and then this window pops up. Here we search for eye color and hit enter. Here we can find this eye color block. We just click on it and then we click on import free. After the download is done, we can close the AR library and we can find our eye color block in our assets panel. So now we just need to drag and drop this block to our scene and after we have done this we can already see that our eye color has changed. But yeah, at the moment there are some weird things are going on because they don't look natural and they are a little bit darker than our yeah, normal eyes. So let's change this. So, we select our eye color block in the left side at the scene, go to the right hand side and here we can find a lot of settings for this block. So we go down to sclera opacity and when we set this to zero, the yeah, dark spots has gone. So we, when we set this more up, it looks yeah, like a star, but yeah, we don't want this. We want it to be as natural as possible. So. The uh, most important thing of this block is of course the color because we want to change the color of our eyes and here are three colors we can we can change so you can see it's not one solid color is more of a gradient which changes through the eye so yeah, you can change here the iris color a b and c so let's do this i will yeah, set it to a soft green and as you can see, when I do this already, the eyes are changing. So and now my eyes are green. That's pretty, pretty nice. And you have here a lot of settings you can do here. You have the iris opacity. So when you set them down, um, yeah, the iris is disappearing. And when you set it up, so let's leave it, let's say to 0 0.9, because when I think it's um, 1, it doesn't look that good. So here the pupil opacity also, you can yeah, play around with this. And yeah, here down, there's also the iris scale, so you can make the iris much bigger. <laughs> so yeah, this looks pretty weird. So let's undo this change. Also, you can change the pupil and the yeah, global scale of everything. But yeah, I will just let this and let's focus on our color. Because we also want to have a logic that when we tap on the screen, the color of our eyes are changing. For this, we of course need a screen tap patch at first. So I want to do three different colors. So let's do a screen tap patch, add this patch to the patch editor. Then we also need a counter and then we um, connect the gesture state output of the screen tap to the increase um, input of the counter. And here we set our maximum count to three because we want just have three options, zero, one, two. And when it hits three, it resets to zero. So now <clears throat> we have three color options here at our iris, iris color A, P and C. And we just have to make sure those are changing when we tap on the screen. So the next patch we need is a option picker patch. So we just insert this patch, but we don't need one of them. We, we need three of them. But before we duplicate this option picker patch, we um, change the settings to color. So you can see when you select it, it is set to number. When you click on it, you can set it to color. So now we just duplicate it 
and now we have three of those patches and now we can connect the counter output with the option input of our um, yeah, option picker. So the next thing is that we go to the right hand side when our eye color block is selected and here next to iris color A, P and C you can find a little arrow. When you click on this arrow you will find a yellow patch um, <clears throat> of this iris color here in the patch editor so we can um, yeah, give the iris color values from the patch editor. So let's do this with the iris color B and C also. So now my eyes are black. And now we connect the option pickers with the yellow patches. So this one to A, B and C. So at the moment all the colors at the option picker are set to black, but we want to change this. I want to have a green option, a red option and also a blue option. So let's do this. So for iris color A, let's turn this up here. I want it very bright. So this green down here, this, so we have uh, some kind of gradient, so this, this green. So and they are very, very bright green. So let's move on to the next color. This has to be a red color. So I do the same. So here is a soft red, then it gets stronger. So it has a little gradient. So it looks more real. And the last one, as I said, I will create a blue color. So after we have done this, the programming is set up. We can minimize our patch editor and here. Now I can change to simulate touch. And when I now tap here on the preview, my eyes are changing. Now they're red, now they are blue. So and now then when it, they are blue and I tap again, they are green again. Of course, you can do more um, your eye colors just increase the maximum count of the counter and don't forget here to set the color. There are at the moment five options, but when you yeah, just go down there, there is a little handle and when you drag it down, you can get more options for your option picker. So now we just need a prompt for the, for the user so this, they know they have to tap on the screen to do the eye color change. So let's do this again. Um, we go to our scene, to our device, then we go to our to the right hand side and here we can find instruction. Instructions. Next to it there is a little plus. We click on it and here we search for tab to change and then we click on insert. We want the, that the instruction is timed so it shows up for the five for the first five seconds when the filter starts and then it disappears. So we will create a dimed instruction. After we clicked on this create button, we have to find our timed instruction here in the patch editor. Sometimes it's, yeah, you can find it. That's because the position seems to be really random when you create this patch. So now we want the timed instruction to show the tap to change option and the duration should be five seconds. Now we have to trigger this timed instruction when the filter starts. For this, we have to create a new patch. So add patch, search for start. So this just triggers when the filter starts and this just connect to the show input of the timed instruction. So now we can close this patch editor. And when we now restart our filter, we can see that the filter says tap to change. So yeah, this was all the magic about changing the eye color here in the Spargy R Studio. Um, as you can see here, it doesn't uh, look that accurate, but when you yeah, use it on your phone, it's much more yeah, accurate. So yeah, let's play around with changing the eye color here, make your own options 
and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!